I guess we just bought a van. <laughs> This time, guys, we actually made a decision. We made a purchase. We bought the Sprinter van. She's ours. So today we're gonna give you a little walkthrough, show you some of our favorite features, give you a little tour inside. But before we get into it, don't forget, subscribe to our channel, hit those post notifications, and give this video a big thumbs, thumbs up. up. <laughs> All right, guys, let's take a look. Let's go. When our daughter was born, she surprised us with her Down syndrome diagnosis. And at that time, we had no idea what our lives would look like. But we quickly discovered extra needs bring extra joy. Through the good times and the challenges. And the adventure and the routine. We're learning to live this life to the fullest. With, with a, a little, little extra. Okay guys, so this decision was not easy for us. It was a, it's a huge thing, one of the biggest things we've ever bought aside from our house, but we're so excited about it. We really feel like we made the right decision. So let's let Ella take us inside and let's start checking out our purchase. <laughs> okay, so first we got the doors. Now we have to be very careful with the doors because you can cut a finger off. So you have to say all clear before you open it. It opens all the way though, and it clicks into place, so it won't come sliding at you. Only setback we have is that we don't have an electric door. So there is options to modify everything. We can get put a step here if we want, but this is what comes standard. Another big thing with such a big purchase is we're really worried about the kids messing everything up, which they always do. And you can see they've already made it very dirty. Look at that. Oh. We've had this car for not even a full week. Not a full week yet. <laughs> and it, it the first day, I mean, it pretty much looked like this. But Jill made mention that we want to get a little dust devil. So uh, that's on our list of things to get. Also, other things to get. We want to get some of the protectors for the seats. Yeah. We actually did take this thing to the beach today. So this van has already had its first beach day. So there is sand everywhere. But yes. Hey there. Whatever. <laughs> We're going to go in the passenger side real quick. Let's show the cockpit and then we'll get into the seats in the back. Okay? Come in. Come on. So super comfortable seats. They've got all the electrical uh, movements and everything here. This guy right here is lumbar support. That's pretty cool. Um, another cool feature that we f found out the other day is that this little part of your seat slides out, which is really neat. Then up here in the front, we've got the 10 and a half inch screen. Look at that beauty. 10 and a half inches. Awesome, huge screen, the biggest one they make. This is another really cool feature of the cockpit. This little opener right here. This is a wireless phone charger. You just set your phone on there and it charges it. It's really cool. We've got all the USB connections in there. We also have some power down here. There's USB. There's a standard like cigarette light lighter charger and there's also a normal plug, like a 115 volt plug. That's all down here. Apparently Cohen's gonna drive. Okay, Jill, what do you tell us about these features over here? Your window stuff, uh, your mirror, all that, and then, you know, all the usual stuff over here. And I, you can fold the mirrors I couldn't in, huh? find the door locks though, so that's important oh. to know that the door locks are right here. They're down there. Yeah, because the other day I couldn't find them. I'm not really good at all the features though. Okay. What I really like about up here Show us is your favorite. I like the storage up here. Look at that. Full overhead storage. What I don't like about up here is there's no visor mirror. Yep. I just feel like a car that has all these features, like how do you not have a visor mirror? Yeah. That feels like that should just be standard on every I don't understand the logic of like we don't put visor mirrors in the car. So we have to get one of those, but it's very, that's very difficult because, I don't know, maybe you guys don't feel this way, but as a female, it's very common when you stop somewhere, you're like, or you feel something in your eye or something and you're like, oh, there's no mirror there. So that's something. That yeah. Don't. You know what? I have to say that I do use my visor mirror in my van all the time because I get stuff in my eyes at work and that's a big thing. I'm like looking in there, like picking out my eye. So. Yeah. So that's a thing. Up here, 
Ooh, We've got dome light. LEDs. Mm -hmm. So there's just a bunch of lights. And then there's like this SOS feature here. Which you push the button. I don't know what happens, but it's like... I don't, he didn't really say what happens. He just said if you're in an emergency, you push that button. He pretty much said don't ever push that he said, button. He specifically, <laughs> actually, what he said is Batman comes. Batman. So I don't think <laughs> Batman really comes, but something happens. And then there's like, you can call for, I think that's roadside yes. assistance. Oh, uh -huh, yeah. Beautiful steering wheel here. So gorgeous. Look at that. It's oh, like God, glimmering. Got all of your features. I guess we should. We should probably get the keys so we could like turn it off. Yeah, let's get the keys. I don't have the keys. Let's, let's go, go get, get the them. Keys. Okay, here you go. Why don't you plug Thank the? Thank you. You handed me the truck key. Oh, I sorry. That's gonna do something. Push the button. And then it just turns on. Awesome. Look at that. Beautiful. So you've got all your great stations right here. You got navigation. You can hook up your phone. So we've already taken a few phone calls on that. I know that you can connect your like all your devices and. Um, and all your music and everything from your phone, whatever you're playing, you can connect it to like play in the car. I haven't gone that far with it yet, but I know you can do that. My favorite feature, hands down, with this car because of how big it is, is this little button right here. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Wow. 360. Well, let me close this door so we can really see. Everybody clear? Yep. Look at that. That's crazy. Oh, that's the front way. That's the front. Okay, it also has an awesome backup camera. It has an amazing backup camera. Because they're playing out there right now, I'm not even gonna mess with that because I don't wanna take any chances of running somebody over. But I think we kind of played around with the backup camera in our test drive. Mm -hmm. So the vlog that we posted about the test drive, I can link right here if you wanna go check that out. And maybe in the future we can bring you some more back. If you guys want to see more of the backup camera and how that works, mm -hmm. go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Boom. And we can bring you another one about that. But because they're outside doing scooters right now, I don't even want to play around with that. So look at this. Look at on the side. I just noticed so this. Yeah, you can change. You can change it. So you can see your cameras. What? And so you can see them in the back right now. Oh, oh that's a side. She okay? She's fine. She hit the car. I heard <laughs> She's that. Fine. Is the car okay? And then there's the back. Oh yeah, that's a backup camera. And there's, there's our view. That's the view with both, and then. One of the things that the kids and Devin are like obsessed with, like it's really cheesy, but they love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and let him show you. You know what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. <laughs> you already know. Watch this. Hey Mercedes. How can I help? <laughs> Take me to Starbucks. Hey. Cancel. Okay guys. I didn't want Devin to actually show you the screen here because I don't want to give away too much of our information. Like you can see <laughs> all of our navigation, our address, the closest stuff to us. So I'm not going to play around with that. So you can't see the screen, but it's really cool. <laughs> it's really cool. And she is uh, AI. So that means that she's going to learn uh, continually. The more we talk to her, the more she'll get used to how we're saying things and, and what we do um, kind of all the time. So. This is cool right here. So these are all the buttons that you have here. This is your adaptive cruise control, and we can talk about that. And then your volume, you can answer calls and stuff like that. But these are kind of cool, these buttons right here, because they're like swipe. So you can see the screen here, and then if I swipe this, just like a phone, that changes. So you can see different readouts. It's actually got specific fuel consumption for the types of driving that you do. Really cool, totally unnecessary, but awesome. I like that it just has your digital readout of how fast you're going when you're driving, which I realized today that this is also a speedometer. I know, I never I look at it. Because I accidentally swiped away, and then I was like, wait, where's my gauge? So, um, yeah, that's cool. So the last thing that we want to talk about up here, there's so many features we... I don't even think we've really gotten to the tip of the iceberg yet, but the really cool thing that we really like is the adaptive cruise control. It's crazy. So basically you set your cruise control and you can set the distance from the car in front of you, like by car length. So between one and four car lengths, you can set that distance and the car will automatically slow down and match the speed of the cars in front of you and keep you at that distance, which is just phenomenal. One of the biggest pet peeves I have when we're traveling is having to take my cruise control off when I'm going like 70 and somebody's going like 68. It's like the worst thing for me. So this will just slow right down and keep you at that speed. You don't have to turn your cruise off. And then once that person gets out of the way or everything clears up, it speeds right back up. So another thing which is cool is in each one of the 
rear view mirrors, there's little triangles that light up when there's something in your blind spot. So it kind of is a little warning when you're going to get over. That's another cool feature. Yes, that's totally a cool feature. And to make it even better, if you put your blinker on and there's someone in your blind spot, it dings at you. So even if like you don't happen to see that red triangle for some reason, it'll beep at you. So even when you're like turning and you've got your signal on because you're turning, if you're in like a turning lane where there's like a lane next to you, it's going to beep at you because there's cars alongside you, even though you like, you're not getting over, but your blinkers on, there's someone in your blind spot. I appreciate that. Yeah. There's so many features like that, that help make driving this car really easy and really comfortable. There's so many like lane assist things. Yeah, and, I was like, going to say lane assist is yeah, crazy. Yeah, it actually like when you start to go over a lane or you get like close to it, it'll like buzz at you. It like vibrates and then like it adjusts for you. From the way that the salesman explained it to us is that it actually brakes on the opposite side and it pulls the car back into the middle of the lane. Um, but it won't do it if your blinker's on. I, I figured that out when <laughs> okay, I was getting I over. That the hard way. Well, I, I went to get over without my blinker on and it started to do it and I'm like, oh, I need to put my blinker on because it thought I was veering. I don't get it. So I was, I'm driving and I was going to get change lanes without putting my blinker on and then it started to oh kick me back in and i said oh i need to put oh. my blinker on in order to get over so because you probably it, should just put your blinker on and absolutely that's the laws of the that road. is the laws of the road but anyway don't it try. helps you do that which I is feel so, so like, cool though, okay here's the thing this car is so big it doesn't drive like you're in this massive car it's really easy to drive but i feel like it makes you drive safer it does because there's like all those little things you can maybe get away with in a different car but like not only is the car going to tell you not to do it but like i don't know it's just I know. It yeah. just makes you drive safer, it I does. feel. So it does. So and far. it watches you and if you get tired, it says, Hey, do you want to take a nap? This is serious. It seriously yeah. will like it'll watch your movements and if if your movements seem tired, it's gonna suggest what you take a nap. What's that called? That's a feature. I, drowsy, I drowsy something. Something, yeah. Yeah. So it'll like pick up on all your habits and if it thinks you're tired it'll up screen pops up that says do you need to take a nap like yeah. it was on. a little creepy thinking yeah. about that while i'm driving i'm like it's watching me as i'm driving <laughs> mercedes is watching me <laughs> but yeah there's so many cameras around it too that when you're near something like too close it like dings at you and then a camera pops up to like show you and there's like all these colors like yeah it's pretty cool it's crazy so we're gonna grab the kids and they want to show you the back because that's kind of their domain all right so next we have the back seat area which is super cool so here's the first thing i would like to show you is that the seats back here there's a little button you can press and they recline so you can chill in your seat on a vacation and all three of these seats do that the seats up front do that those three but the seats in the very back don't do okay. that, unfortunately. And it just pops right back up. Okay, next. So we've got the cup holders are right here. Very fancy. There's four on each row, except for the very back, unfortunately. Next is this little device holder. You can stick your phone right here and then charge it. Super cool. And there's the air conditioning with, I think we decided there was ten vents, right? There's like... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. eight, nine, nine, ten. No, nine. Nine, because there's one here. Uh, oh, no, no, ten. Yeah, ten. So as far as the air conditioning in the back goes, this is its own unit. So this is something that is an upgrade. I believe in 2020 they upgraded it. Uh, the other vans used to have it on the front. This one has it on the back. It's totally much better system keeps the back super cool way cooler than our other car huh guys oh heck yes yeah and so it's all controlled from the front i can either sync everything together and have the same uh climate in both sections or i can separate them and have a different climate back here as um a different than the cockpit and see that button up there on that front light that this one turns off all the lights Ooh, look they turn i didn't off. even know that That's i cool. did I know you guys have already seen this in our test drive vlog, but look, I can stand up. You guys, I have platform shoes on right now, <laughs> which are like, I don't know, how big are those? Like three inches maybe? Yeah. yeah. All right, guys, so our other camera died. Unfortunately, we switched over to the Canon real quick. Not as great of sound on this one, so I apologize if there's like an extreme sound difference, but we want to show you one more thing in this van, and that is the amazing cargo space, which was really the biggest selling point of all. Okay. Real quick, get a shot of that. That's the camera right there. Boom. Here we go. Next. Look at this. Hold on. 
this door, this is special right here. Not all of them can do this. Boom, opens all the way. That's a special feature. Look at this. Wow. Okay guys, so just note this real quick. We have our Veer wagon and our Bob double stroller in the back double. together right now. Look at this. With room. With, With room. room. Two, this like is actually all coming. the way toward the back. There's a ton of room right here. Wait, Kobe, wait. Let's, here, let me pop this down real quick so you get a, Come on, a, better, baby. a better idea. Look at that. Go get her, bud. Okay. Look at how beautiful that is. Another really cool feature that we love about this is if you come down with me here, you can see underneath all the seats going all the way forward. Okay, so as you can see, all the way underneath the, all the back seats, it's all open. That's all storage area for us when we're traveling. That's super cool. We're really excited about that. The other cool thing is this like rubber, this is all underneath the entire thing. Okay, so you can literally hose out the bottom of this van. What do you need, Estelle? Do you want to get up there? It's got oh. a little step right here. Tow package. Tow package. Is that, oh, what are you guys doing? It's as easy as that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. You gotta put a little yeah. <laughs> star in there. This is the color we got. It's called like sandstone or stone gray or something like that. I don't remember. But I wasn't stoked on it on first, but we actually really like it, so. Cool color. Yeah. Very not black. Color. Not a service car. Doesn't look like one either. Doesn't look like a service car, so I'm stoked. This is the low roof option. Like I said, you can get it even higher, but this is perfect, honestly. Yep. It's already big enough. Look at this beast. Look at this beast compared to our pilot. I can actually touch the roof of the pilot. This thing, there's no way. Look at this. All right guys, so that's the basic tour of our brand new car. So exciting. We cannot wait for the first road trip. If there's anything else that you wanna see specifically, come chat with us on our Instagram. We'll put it right here. Let us know if there's any features you're curious about, anything you'd like to see more of. We'd be so happy to share with you. We're so excited about this purchase. We're gonna take you with us on all of our road trips. Don't worry, you'll get a first class seat as long as you- Subscribe to our channel. That's right. <laughs> Ring the bell notifications and give this video a big thumbs up. Thumbs up. If you loved it, and we'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Bye, bye guys. guys. Shut the door. Okay, watch your hands. Watch your hands.